<laughs> All right. So uh, let's call this meeting to order. Uh, first order of business is to thank Angelo for all his service on the Golf Commission. And uh, we appreciate it, Angelo. Thank you, my Round pleasure. Applause. Any parting words? No. Uh, no, it uh, was a pleasure serving you guys. I just wish uh, I was able to give more time. All right, well, thank you for what you did do. Um, review and approval of prior minutes. Can I get a motion? I'll make a motion. Shelley, second. second. Angelo, any comments, discussion, changes, et cetera? Seeing, hearing none, all in favor? Aye. All right. Minutes are approved. <clears throat> Chris, I'm abstaining because I wasn't here. I read them. They look great, but I don't know their accuracy because I wasn't here. Wasn't there. And Chris, I also uh, will abstain because I wasn't there, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, election of officers. Chris? You're on mute, Chris. Sorry. Um, is there anyone there? The nomination process is open for the position of golf course chairman. All right, Doc. I'm sorry. Was that Tom? Yes. And who are you nominating? I'm sorry. All right. Smith, what was it? What was the office that you, I, you broke up for a second, but I figured you were- I know everybody's down. breaking up. It's, you know what, can we all mute until you wanna talk? Cause everybody's breaking up. Um, okay. Uh, chairman. Yes, yeah, so I'm nominating Don for chairman. I'll second it, Chris. Are there any other nominations for the position of chairman? Nope. Then by unanimous decision, Don is reelected as chairman for one year. Um, anyone care to make a motion for the position of vice chairman? I would like to nominate Joe Gordiano. I would like to second that. Any other nominations? All right, then Joe is nominated as vice chairman for another year. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Uh, audience participation. Do we have any audience? I do. Uh, if there's any member of the public who would like to speak, please press the uh, please press the raise hand button at the bottom of your screen. And these. Okay. Okay. I don't see any. Do you, Bill? Yeah. Um, it does not appear that anyone wishes to speak. All right, thank you. Um, Paul Lupo is not here. Shelly, you want to make a few remarks in his stead? Yes, I'd be happy to. Okay, um, for those of you who are listening and wanting to know what's gone on, um, the edging of the bunkers on the knolls are near completed. And um, the bunkers on the Glen will be next, but they were edged most recently and the process will be quicker. Uh, deep time aeration has take place uh, will take place next year as it was re-added to the budget. The greens were solid time aerated recently to aid in drainage over the winter so the ice will not sit on top. Additional sand is being added to the greens that are more open and affected by the wind over the winter to allow for better drainage. The soil has been amended for the winter. I guess that means put to sleep. Snow mold application has been performed for the winter. The winter projects include outside work when weather allows and inside equipment maintenance, which needs to be done. The right side of, of knolls number two and number seven will be scraped. They have topsoil added and reseeded in the spring. And uh, maintenance practices mentioned above are slightly different than previous years with the early winter aeration and the sand applications. Uh, Paul stated that these practices will result in a more playable course with better condition. 
And um, so that is his report. Okay. Any comments, questions? For Shelly. All right, thank you, Shelly. Bobby? I think you're on mute, Bobby. Oh, sorry. I, I had a question. I, I thought Shelly was going to do her report oh, next. I'm sorry. So I wanted to finish, her to finish, but sorry. You know what? I'm looking at that, and I'm I'm not seeing where it was printed out. I I do look now, and I'm just like, I thought I said something myself. Uh, let me yeah. go back. If you want to go to Bobby, then come back to me. I'll find it in my yeah. notes. The only question I had for you, Shelly, were the aerators brought in? Was what? The pond aerators brought in. Because we don't want those to freeze and break over the winter because we just got um, those from the cold back and we want to take care of them. Actually, if I'm remembering correctly, because I did play this week, one of them was still, it wasn't working and it wasn't being used, but it was still in the pond. And that's the one to the right of 14. Bobby, I don't know if it's, if it's gone out since then. You might know that. No, I was there today, I, this morning, and it was still in the pond. I'll, I'll see, I'll ask Paul tomorrow. Right when Great. I walk Thank you. Morning. Okay, let me find. Go ahead if you want to uh, go, Bobby, and then I'll look and see if I find where my notes were. Sure. Uh, I didn't submit a report. My report is very brief um, this month. It was a quick month. Uh, that just, the, just for the record, the official closing date was Friday, December 17th. We extended it two days past the 15th uh, due to the really good weather. And then the rain and everything came this weekend. Um, it was both Thursday and Friday were sold out. Uh, it was it was a great way to end our season, and it was a, it was a great season. Um, we're getting inquiries for tournaments for next year, so Chris and I will be working on that um, and explaining all our new tournament um, interested parties about the new tournament policies and the fees. Uh, that may may or may not have a positive effect on our people that want to come and play in the tournaments. Um, and lastly, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, and I'll see you in the, at the January meeting. Okay. Any questions? Any questions about it? No? Okay, I, I found my notes, the rest of them. Um, in addition to the updates above, the maintenance department is going to work on uh, the edging of the bunkers. Uh, the sinkhole on 11 was discussed at our meetings and uh, it was agreed that it's not a high priority item. It has been addressed numerous times before and um, thinking that it's just a sinkhole that's just not gonna go away. Um, so they, they, that attempt has been done three different times. And so right now we would have to bring outside vendors in to see if we could solve the problem, but it's not a top priority for us. Uh, there is an issue of delayed delivery of new equipment as well as replacement parts, and that's causing some problems to fix the equipment. And um, so that's the end of that. The only other discussion that we'd like you all to just think about is future um, conditions of the course as far as the quality of what you want. So whether or not we want it to be more of a really premier type course, which would mean that like the last two days that we were able to play that Bobby extended the play would not happen because, you know, um, the more play that you have, the harder it is to get all the, the work that you want to get done to improve it. I think it's been a great course so far. Um, I think Paul and crew has done an amazing mm -hmm. job, but in the future, we just need to think about what direction we want to go in, but that's something for the future. Just want to let you know, we discussed it and we'll put it on our agenda again in the future. That's it. Okay. Don, I got a question for Shelly. Just or a point to put on your bullets to get done would be, we did all the paving, but that all has to be landscaped. So either I'm, my assumption would be we would do it ourselves, but that should be a bullet to get done in the springtime, Shelly. Okay. That sounds good. I'll mention it to Paul and then maybe the, we can all get together with Owen and uh, you can maybe join that part of our next uh, Greens Committee. Sure. No Shelly. Okay, great. Thanks. Shelly, just yes. one thing to add to that. Um, the only one that's really important, it was 
it was brought out. We've had a lot of people inspecting. The fire marshal's been out. We've had a lot of our inspections going on. And the only area that they're commenting on that they don't like is the front walkway. There's still kind of a, a ridge there. And they said if anybody's walking in the dark from it, they could twist an ankle in it. So it doesn't have to be made pretty, but maybe just some dirt thrown in it. You know, I know we can't seed or anything, but um, that was pointed okay. out in our inspection. All right, thanks. Yep. Anybody else? No, uh, just one thing on 11, I think maybe next season before we fix it, we maybe we embrace it a couple uh, weekends and put the whole in, in the depression. You know, give the guys a break or give something uh, a little different, you know, instead of just worrying about it and avoiding it, you know, have a <laughs> like little fun that. with it. That's a good idea, right? Yeah. yeah. Help my score. Everything will go to the hole. I like that. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, nice. Good idea. Bobby's not small. Oh, Bobby's smiling. <laughs> That's good. Um, all right. Moving on. Tony. Uh, okay, so um, I'm going to go quick too. You should have what I did. Um, the front and rear entrance uh, should finally be completed. The front is done. The rear should be completed by the uh, end of the year. Uh, and that's because Ram took their time in ordering the fixtures. They should have been ordered back in September. They didn't order them till like, you know, I told them to order them. But um, so hopefully that's the last piece of it. Hopefully you've seen the difference and we're done with that. Uh, the paving is all done. Uh, I feel I've, you know, we've gotten some good feedback on that. And I, I mentioned the comment about landscaping for Shelly. Uh, the, uh, the gutter, uh, we got the gutter in today for the front entrance for safety reasons. So we're going to put up a temporary gutter uh, at the front entrance. Paul is doing that for me. Nice job by him. Uh, the other is the lightning protection system. We're, we're finally got the parts in. We're working on, on a post on... on uh, number nine, but at least now we're moving forward to get that finished. Uh, the good news also on the boiler, uh, they started the work today. Demo was done. Tomorrow they will rig everything out and rig in the new equipment. Wednesday, all the heating will be installed. Thursday, all the AC. So we should be done by Thursday at five o'clock for uh, all the HVAC that was uh, the emergency work that we got the money for to do. Uh, I actually got the lighting. I, I've been talking about the LED lighting. I got uh, pricing on the LED lighting and also the rebate. Um, so I have to get that. I want to get the course. I got a spreadsheet that we need to review, Don, you, Joe, Chris, and I. And you know, I was going to ask Angelo, but uh, we got to look at that. But right now, it's almost a savings of thirty-two thousand dollars if we did something. Um, I have to explain that better, but I have all the numbers now, both install. Okay as well as the fixtures themselves to upgrade all the light fixtures in the clubhouse. Um, then the other, uh, I don't know what's going, you know, the drawings for the, uh, for the roof. Uh, Don, I don't know where we're going with that. Uh, that's, that's been out of my hands basically, but uh, hopefully you could give us some updates or we get some updates by the end of the month. And um, the other thing, the last thing I want to mention is, I don't know if everybody knows we lost power last weekend at the club. Um, we have a we have an electrical issue with UI, where their third phase, the B phase, continues to go down, and um, we need to do something about that in the spring. I have uh, Chris was uh, Chris gave me all the drawings uh, that that uh, that takes the power from the road up to the transformer and then distributes it to the uh, Carp Barn Nicholas Center in the clubhouse. Um, the good news is we wouldn't be responsible for the power up to the transformer. That would be UI's work. We'd only have to do the um, one, one line from the transformer to the clubhouse. Uh, but that's something we need to consider come the springtime for work that has to be done. Um, I think this has been going on, Chris, since 2016 or 2015, something Six, like that. Yeah, 16 was when they finally uh, came up with a plan, but it's been going on for forever. Yeah, so I got a call was that with Houston. Bobby calls me and says, Tony, we lost power. I'm like, 
I'm in Houston, Texas. I don't know what I can do for you right now, but but uh, the, the UI came out quickly. They fixed it temporarily again, um, but that's will continue to happen unless we permanently do the work. So um, that'll be back on the list as an action item as we move forward. That's a, that's uh, that's it right now for uh, for actions that I got. Any questions? Okay. Um, just a couple of add-ons. Uh, well, first, Tony, when you're ready, just set up a meeting to, uh, you know, we'll talk about the, the lighting. Sure, I will do that. You know, okay. Just set up a Zoom and, and we'll go ahead and do that. <clears throat> okay. Um, the roofing. <laughs> uh, well, my understanding is, is the lawyers are still talking. Uh, the town has been talking about the roof. Um, we are going to put a tarp on the roof. Uh, it's going to cost us uh, $6,000. And this has come from the town discussions and the, 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 not a bid, but quotes that were submitted from town vendors. And that'll get us through the winter. Um, and that's all I have. It's still. Don, what was wrong with the current tarp? It's been on there know. for nine months i gotta be honest with you i don't know i was just okay. hit with an email the end of last week saying mm -hmm. it's gonna cost six thousand dollars to cover it okay and you guys need to pay for it <laughs> those weren't the words but that was the part yeah. of it. <laughs> so six thousand dollars for a tarp right and they probably will get it from home depot uh, <laughs> Harbor Freight, they're less expensive. But Tony, I had uh, two questions on the lightning system. Are we still taking care of the pool? I don't believe so. Uh, uh, yeah. well, let me ask uh, Chris. Chris would know better on that, Frank. Chris. Yeah, we we are taking care of the pool. We bought the bought the um, unit that goes on the pool, but the pool is having some work done. The 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 building at the pool site is having some work done. So it is not going to be installed right now with the rest. It's going to wait until spring or when right. Dimitri is ready. But it, the, we already took care of buying it. The part. And Tony, you saw that old schematic that we had done for the uh, power line. Is it the same scope of work or is it less? I, I, it, it, yes, I, I, I'm going to go through all the drawings and the specification and, uh, and then I'll review it. But the only good thing that's that's Actually, that's right up my line of business is electrical work. So, because be at that time we were putting aside forty thousand for it, just so you know, forty thousand. Yeah. Well, but so Frank, was that for? Again, they're responsible for their line, not us, and the transformer work. So Tony and everyone, the the forty thousand is still accurate. the The problem with that whole thing is that it's driven by the UI. And the UI determines when, if, and what they're going to do about it. So it was a high priority for the UI. They were out. They did the plans. Everything was going. We had the contract. And then UI just kind of dropped the plan and never came. And somehow, I mean, Bobby can speak to it, too. I, I mean, we must have had about half a dozen times that this has happened. It was happening regularly every year. It hasn't done it now for six years. So I guess the UI kind of got complacent. But the deal is that the UI, and we're lucky because the UI determined that Tashua Knowles Lane is actually a road um, and not a driveway. Um, and that's because our line actually services uh, the house behind the cart barn. If it didn't do that, we would have been uh, responsible for the whole thing. But, but basically what they're gonna do is dig up all of Tashua Knowles Lane, put new electrical lines in conduit. The UI is only responsible for what they're calling that, the primary line. We're responsible for all secondary lines, but we're also responsible for the trenching. So the reason it was 40,000, and I would only imagine that it's gone up in the six years since, is that we had made the deal with Parks and Rec that they would, we don't have an equipment big enough to trench over there because it's mostly rock. 
so that um, Parks and Rec would trench, but we would be responsible for all of the secondary lines, meaning the, the lines that go to the pool and the lines that go to the um, tennis courts. So the cost six years ago was $40,000 to us. Nice job, Chris. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but I mean, I, I, hopefully Tony can get involved and put pressure on the UI, but that's that's why that, I mean, we had we had it in capital for two or three years in a row, but the UI just never did it. So maybe Tony could put some pressure on them and get it done. Because the other thing that happens is when we lose one of those phases, um, there's always the possibility that any of our three phase equipment, meaning that boilers and the heaters and all that could um, could be taken out with that as well. So, um, so it is something that really should be done, but even the UI doesn't cooperate with us. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Yeah. Very good job, Kristen. Okay, anything else for Tony? All right. Uh, the session air is not here. Finance committee, Joe is not here. Uh, the only item, <clears throat> Uh, well, do we have any numbers through December, Chris, and number so, round? Yeah, so both uh, both November, we've kind of continued the, the trend that we've had, I think October, November, and December, in that we have beat our averages, but we have not beaten last year. So um, we will do the same for December. Um, the last two days put us over, over the average quite a bit, which was good. Um, the one thing good. that I will say is one of the really good benefits of the new for um, for software is that people are buying uh, gift cards online like crazy and I don't have to deliver them to them down their chimneys on Christmas Eve so um, so we have signs posted all over and every day we're selling several of them and at the end of the season we'll we'll get you an updated number as to how many we've sold um, but it's a big number so you know above average but we're not we're not beating last year so overall we'll we'll probably be just under 2.7 million for the year which is pretty darn good and the the cards get booked when we sell them not when they're used it's it's an interesting it's an interesting concept don so i re report numbers income numbers with the sold cards Okay. So the 2.7 includes sold cards, but it doesn't. And then if you come in and um, use it, your sale will ring up minus that discount. Yeah. Um, all during the years, though, this system might be a little more interesting and, and we won't have the history, but we have always made money on gift cards. We always sell way more than people turn in. So um usually by several thousand dollars. So it's usually ends up being a pretty good deal for us. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> um, Chris, or so, maybe Bobby, um, what do you attribute the loss in income from last year? You think it's because yet last year people were still home from the pandemic and they were golfing more or? What do you? You lost an income for the season or for the last two months? Well, that because we came in lower than last year. This year came in lower than last year. But you, am well, I, and am I not? Um, I would say, well, last year we had no reduction in rates throughout the whole season, November, December, and this um, year, I, this year I did. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming the last you're referring to the last two months or November, maybe. Um, well, yeah, it just, well, it was also October, but October was affected because all of the, um, the, the play from the, uh, golf teams took, mm -hmm. took place in September and October. So they of course don't pay to golf. So that affected those numbers. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, yeah, it's been so that's... busy. That's all I can tell you, but I know I'm just wondering if it's because more people were still working from home or still home last year and they were golfing. Oh, Do you know definitely. what I mean? Yeah, definitely. That was, um, there was definitely a lot more from home. I think we had more playable days last year versus this year in terms of weather. Um, okay. But yeah, definitely the reduction in price in the, la in the last two months or la at least the last month will had an impact. Our rounds are good, but our revenue is going to be down. 
little bit. Um, and it's, I, perce I, I foresee that happening again next year. Okay. Um, I didn't mean to put you on the spot, Bob. I was just trying to figure it out. Well, I believe you're right, right with weather. We did have some nice days in December this year, but for the most part, they were colder. Last year, they cut off. It was, it was a steady uh, temperature, not like this year up and down. All uh, I know is when it was still sunny and nice, they were still there. We, we also we also closed the days the course um, different this year too. We had two days. We gave Paul two days of um, the course being closed on both the Knolls and the Glen for aeration as well. I mean that that alone that that has a that has a pretty significant impact. So again, it goes back to that question that Shelly posed earlier. Paul and I have been discussing this. It seems to be the elephant in the room of who we want to be, where we're going, what we want to do. We have to address this. Um, that's all I got to say on that issue. Bill, uh, Chin, would you uh, be kind enough to let Joe Gordiano into the meeting? He's listed as an attendee. Oh. He said he was. I don't see him. Oh, there My, he is. I just promoted him. Uh, maybe he doesn't want to be in the meeting. No, he does. <laughs> he, maybe... you, you, you called me Diane. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, you heard that? <laughs> no, excuse me, everybody. Sorry for that. I'm waiting. Joe, are you? Uh, we're we're right up to the budget. Are you ready to do it? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I see Don sent it out earlier. Um, basically, we had a few line items increase. Uh, this was in program supplies and. Uh, maintenance. Uh, we budgeted originally 20% increase for cost of goods. We've had a few vendors come in with estimates as high as 150% increase. Uh, I spoke to Don today and, and as well as Christine, and we feel, you know, a 50% cost of good increase should be sufficient for next year. Uh, we could, we can make it work, even if estimates do come in at 100 150% for some items, not everything is going to be there. And also we have some money in capital that we could reallocate if needed and, and elsewhere in the budget if we need to transfer. Um, and then the only other addition there is a $2,000 uh, request for an all staff meeting similar to what we had at the end of this season. So we have a total budget of 2500000 $32,815, correct, Joe? That's the that bottom correct. line number. Can That's I get a motion? So oh, moved. Owen? Can I ask you a question? Oh, yeah, we can get to it. We'll get there. Oh, okay. Go Wait, ahead. I'm sorry. Was that Owen? Yes. Tony, you second? Yeah, second. Okay. Discussion, questions? So, my question, I got one quick question about the water. Why did water go from 26,000 to 64,000? Well, 26 was what we uh, actually used in 2020. Okay. We budget on a five year cycle for the water, and 2021 and 2022 were very low with water usage. So we're okay. trying to get a really accurate read on that number. But until in Really, until this year, when we can reset the five-year cycle, okay, we're not going to have a an accurate number. Okay, what what the feeling was, Tony, was the two previous superintendents, the guy was watering all the time or something, and, and the number was just astronomical. Okay, Christine, isn't that a number dictated by the town anyway? Um, it's not really in water, but but Joe's absolutely right. You know, the the five year trend has really been lower. And the first couple of years, we thought maybe it's an anomaly. We had some dry summers, but we've really been looking at it over the last five years. Um, the other thing is we got in a, a computer program that better allows us to water um, better improvements in the watering techniques and 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 when we do it. So um, it's just a more accurate number we don't ask me why but several years ago when joe was right it was a previous superintendent who just appeared to water a lot more but over the last five years it's it, that is a more accurate number 
And, and Tony, just just to be fully transparent, this year we actually did transfer, I think, twenty thousand out of that account for other various uh, needs on the on the course. So it is also kind of a, you know, a, a safety net if need be. Sure. Okay, that's fair. Uh, it's just, it just you can see going from twenty six to sixty four, the big yeah. spread though. That that's yeah, I, I it's hundred percent. No, I understand. That's the only reason why I brought it up. Otherwise, yep. I'm fine. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Frank, uh, Joe, on the I see the increased ten thousand in overtime. Is that for the starter Ranger staff or is that for Green staff? Uh, Don, correct me if I'm wrong, but what we understood from Paul was that was for additional staff to get tournaments ready for Saturday and Sunday tournaments for the men's club and, and other various clubs. So it was just yeah, a, a good a good portion of it. Yeah, the built yes. It's for the maintenance staff. I know traditionally we tried to keep uh, maintenance staff off the course on the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday as much as possible to not interfere with our highest rated uh, play out there. Yeah, this was this was to give them extra manpower before the tournament, so the the course looked extra good for our, you know, our our regular golfers when they played in tournaments on the weekends. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Uh, can we get a vote on the budget? Uh, the motion is to accept the budget of $2,532,815. All in favor? Hold on, Don. One oh, second. Oh, Hold oh, on. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I, knew it was I know. I'm sorry. We have to put in the language in that in that um, we probably do not have the salaries down to the penny and the town, Don is right, the town may make some adjustments to our utility accounts based on new contracts for them. So it is as is, except with those exceptions that the town may make some adjustments to those right. to the salary, the full-time salary and the utility accounts and um, reimbursable services. Reimbursables, yep. Right. Sorry, Don. No, that's why you're here. Diane. I move what you said and what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Owen already moved that. Because I can't yeah. remember it all. <laughs> Owen moved. Owen moved Tony's second. You're right. You're he moved. did? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. We're, we're, we're I'm sorry, moved. Owen. I didn't know. <laughs> All, You're forgiven. all in favor. Okay. All in favor. All opposed. Abstentions. All right. Unanimous carry. Thank you for all your work, Joe, Christine, and others in preparing this. Um, Thank you for all the support, guys. I appreciate it. We we built in some extra money because of <laughs> what Fingers we crossed. went through this year. And uh, I think it's going to work. I don't think we're going to spend everything that we have in every category. Just keep that in mind. But it'll, we'll be able to run the business better and deal with crises better. Right? Yep. That's the idea. That's the idea. Um, personnel, Diane, you want to have anything for us? Actually, um as of today, we finally got a job description back from Tom McCarthy, but it was what, about five o'clock this afternoon. Um, so I haven't had a chance to go over it with a fine tooth comb. And I don't even think you did, Don, did you? No, no. So we, yeah, so we decided that we would table that and talk about it tomorrow so that we can see how it fits into what we had in mind. And um, I have to give Don kudos um, and Joe, because this was like pulling teeth to get this. It was brutal. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, um, uh, I'd like to make a motion to let give Don and Diane the authority to put this job out there before the next meeting, because we don't want to miss the hiring cycle, mm -hmm. which has already started. Um, okay. Yeah, I think that's, yeah. 
We need a motion for that. That's a, uh, that's so it. that's the motion I made to approve that Dodd has the power to uh, put this job out there with the commission, like without the commission's approval, like with Diane and Don, their group. Yeah. They, have, they have authority on behalf of the commission to approve and oppose the job. Thank you, Joe. With my injury, words are hard for me to come. No. Up. <laughs> I'm right there. I'm right there. Right now. And I would love to second that. All right. Repeat your talk. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's fine. We all agree. Any further discussion? Oh, well, okay. All in favor? Opposed? Nobody? Abstain? Nobody? Yeah. Then once we do that, the the attempt is just so you know. Tom McCarthy, the director of HR, will attempt to set up a special meeting of the Civil Service Board uh, next week, was his intent, to approve just our job description. Uh, they might, so he, he wants to hold a special meeting because this thing has dragged and dragged and dragged. and. Uh, and but there's still problems with that because there's four members of the commission and they need three for, there's five members of the commission, there's only four active, they need three for a quorum, I think. So they're still struggling with that. But um, all town officials have been, I did, Joe has uh, um, notified the first selectman the town attorney of the urgency of this. So all pertinent people are on board that this has got to happen. Doesn't mean it will, but. A Angelo, I hear you're leaving us. I think there's a spot on that commission that we need filled so we can get this done. <laughs> that would help. Yeah, just, just so you know, it, it, you know, it's, there's nobody else that you know to push this. So we have to have that meeting, have it approved, and have it posted, and get the thing, you know, done. And we'll let you know how that goes. Um, okay. Anything else, Diane? I don't. You good? You're on mute. Um, I think that covers it. Um, at this point, yeah. Okay. That's it. We've all of our time, all of Don's time, and and a lot of Joe's time has been spent on getting this from Tom McCarthy. So hopefully now we'll coast the rest of the way. Yeah. Um, just as long as we're talking personnel, it just hit me. Uh, for those of you, is everybody at the employee reception? I guess everybody was here, right? Unfortunately, I was not. Right, you were. So I was quarantined because my kid had a play date. I think that was a tremendous. I think it was a tremendous success. Um, and Christine, you get kudos for putting it together, making it happen. Because these things, you know. <laughs> You did a great job. And yeah. I'm sorry I missed, but I was sick, so. Excuse me? Uh, You're frozen, Diane. I believe Diane was trying to say she was not there as well. Oh, okay. Well, it was a great success, I believe. Right? Yeah, I was there. there. I was Very yeah. good. It was nice. It was very nice. And thank you, Christine. Very Put good. that in the minutes, Christine. Thank you, sir. Correspondence, I haven't seen any. Do we have any? I have not seen any either. Okay, do we have any old business? Anything we haven't discussed? Do we have any new business? Does anybody have anything they want to bring forth? Okay, hearing none, do I have a motion to adjourn? No move. Angelo, that's nice. That's right. Nice <laughs> it's adjourn the meeting. <laughs> I'll second if uh, right, you second. didn't hear Tom yet. Yeah, if Tom's trying. All, yeah, in, all in favor. Aye. Oh, Aye. all right. 
Happy holidays, everyone. Happy holidays, Happy everyone. Holidays. Be well, safe. Holidays, Merry Thank Christmas. And all of those of you going to Florida and everywhere else, have fun. Don, <laughs> Angelo, who else? <laughs> Thank you. Visit. Take care. You can visit. Yeah. Yeah. See you next year. Yeah. yeah. We, did it. we had a great year, Bobby. Thank you for all you did this year. We had a Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, Christine. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay. Good night. Coffee tomorrow, Chris. <laughs> I know. Getting my heater. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Bye-bye.